I'm really not sure music has changed my life, but it's definitely enhanced my life. Um, I can't imagine um, an hour, let alone a day, really, without music on. Well, we are the, the MASH Company. I was going to say, our strap line is music that tells a story. Uh, for me, it's just a way of expressing uh, your emotions. Um, you know, and also it's a good way to um, make other people happy um, and you can set a mood for an evening by the type of music that you play. Um, I think my, my life revolves around music in one way or another, so ever since I've been into music I've always played. I probably pick up a guitar every single day without fail if, if I'm at home or whatever. I listen to music when I go to work in the morning, while I'm working. Yeah, it it is actually a major part of my life. It's not an addition or an add-on. It's part of who I am and, and what I do. For me, it's not just about singing, it's performing with other live musicians and the vibes that you get off performing with other musicians. Yeah, I think when, when it works, especially in a band of any sort, whatever sort of music you play, when it really, really works, there's no better feeling than four people in sync playing in perfect time or whatever and good harmonies and whatever the, your kind of music. There's no better feeling than that buzz when it, when it really works and everything's going well. And I think the friendship thing's a massive thing, isn't it? it oh, you make some really good friendships. The bond it gives you with other people who have an interest in music as well is, definitely shapes your life in that way. My name's Pete Jones. I do a show on Radio Reverb called The Pete Jones Show, creatively called, I thought. I think music means obviously so much and so many different things to different people. Um, and depending on what mood you're in, um, music is always there for you. Um, I, I can't imagine getting through a day without music. I think music affects us far more than uh, people will openly admit um, I don't know if you found this but you can be kicking around the house the radio's on and a, a brand new song will come on it will just stop you in your tracks you just go wow that, that is incredible it doesn't matter what what kind of incredible it is whether it's just the best the best groove you've ever heard or the just the most powerful soulful song or voice uh, so I think I think music affects us in in many ways um, and it's only at that point that you kind of appreciate it. You don't. You can't. You can't see it coming. I think there's that kind of notion that you can't see something coming, and it just whacks you between the eyes. You know that the, the, there's that impact that music has, and it's just letting it do it to you. Just giving into music and letting it uh, take you on its own journey, which I love. It definitely inspires me, and the creation and the creativity around the, the craft of the song. Uh, I'm forever in awe of hearing a new artist um, just just play what they've written. I'm thinking, you wrote that? That's incredible. It's beautiful. How did you do that? Um, and, and just how can we keep creating new sounds and new music from the same chords, the same instruments, the same setup, really? You know, whether it changes our lives or not, it's just, it is, um, you know, forever something to be inspired by, I think. This is Natalie. I study music at Sussex and I'm a singer-songwriter. I can sing and play the harp. I'm from Bristol originally. I mean, music means so many things to me, really. I think listening to it, kind of just been growing up listening to loads of different music, kind of going to watch it live and like kind of writing it and performing it. It's quite like a good like release and like a way of dealing with sort of things because my music's quite like personal. And then I think, yeah, just going to like watch it as well and like kind of inspiring. I used to write kind of mainly from like things I was feeling, but recently I've kind of moved on to like taking like short stories and like kind of adapting them into like music and into song. I mean it affects me in 
kind of loads of ways, um, just kind of like really sort of personally or like kind of as sort of like a release or just as like a hobby, kind of going to watch it, just listening to it, kind of listening to certain albums at certain times, it's quite like a big impact I think. Um, it's changed my life kind of quite, I guess quite drastically really, I guess kind of starting to like write my own music and sort of playing it kind of made me realise that's what I wanted to do and sort of made me realise I wanted to go to university and like study it more and I kind of wasn't really planning to before. Uh, my name's Roman, I'm a blues musician, I play guitar and I sing and yeah I love music. I got into music well, when I started music GCSE, I needed to learn to play an instrument, so I picked up the guitar, and from then on, I just couldn't really put it down. Music is, to me, just everything. It is um, what I live and breathe. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, that's what I want to do. I want to play guitar, I want to sing. Um, it helps me unwind, it helps me get prepared for things. Yeah, music's everything. Music affects me on a on a primal level. It uh, it can influence my emotions and change how I think and feel. Music has changed my life in that it's brought me closer to other people and uh, given me opportunities I'd never have. I've met so many good people through music, and uh, I have a new appreciation of life through music. My name is Donny Stax, I'm a music producer, I also do a bit of sort of rapping and singing and stuff like that, but mainly sort of focus on producing for artists, rappers, singers, that sort of thing. I didn't actually start making the beats till about five years ago when someone I knew who'd also just started making beats showed me how to do it and I picked it up really quickly, like really, really quickly, stupidly quickly. So I kind of felt like it was the right thing for me to be doing, like, for me, like, it felt right, it felt more than right, I don't know, I just, to this day I'm still happy enough sitting there making music all night long, like, without earning a penny from it or earning loads of money from it, it doesn't make a difference, but like, either way I'm the equal amount of happiness from it. The amount of passion I feel for making music is unbelievable when when I first started out it was the thought of doing something which I was initially really interested in but didn't know how much it would affect me and take off like as a big part of my life it's a massive part of my life huge I think anyone that knows me like well like if I haven't like been on my computer doing something musically for more than a few days I start getting itchy and I have to I have to be involved with it whether it's listening to someone else's making something or anything, anything really like, I don't know, music is my life, I guess, like, there's nothing really much else that interests me more, there's nothing I'd rather be doing. In your camera view, like, you're looking at just my, my studio setup. if we kick that camera back a few feet, you'd see that we're actually in my living room in my house, because I haven't built the studio yet, because I've just moved house, and, like, the overall plan is to build the studio at the back of my garden, and have it all soundproofed, etc, etc, so, to put so much focus and money and time and effort into something, you can't say it's not affected my life because it's all that I like sort of strive and do things for. I, I go to work and earn money like primarily to, <laughs> to want to build a studio and do this, not to like pay bills and put food on the table. Do you know what I mean? It's backward thinking, but yeah, it's definitely changed me as a person. Definitely. <laughs> I really struggle to understand how somebody could have no music in their life. You know, when I meet people who say they don't bother with music, I just find that bizarre. <laughs> uh, I listen in the car if I'm on a journey. I need music to get me through that journey. Uh, you know, I just find that people who actually literally do not listen to music seems a little strange to me because you must go out of your way not to hear music, you know, you must hide from it because it's everywhere, isn't it?